Harry, how do you feel so far? I feel so good. It's so good. Wow. Hey, we're naturals. Hey guys, welcome on to today's vlog. We're with Mark from Eco Wild Ride and we're going to go biking. Yeah, my cheeks are pressing against my face. Yeah. Feels good. We've just done our first little ride. How do you find it? I feel a bit ridiculous. So we've done half an hour's practice so far, doing a few of the turns and testing the bikes out on the road. And now we're going to go up uh, the volcano over there. So I was really nervous before we came on this excursion. I've never done like anything like biking or motorbiking, motocross, anything like that. The most I've done is ride like a push bike, which is absolutely not the same thing. But I'm really excited to do this excursion. It's quite a windy day, so I don't know how this is going to sound on the vlog. Hopefully it's going to come out okay. Uh, we're going to go up the volcano just behind us, Caldo and Ondo. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but let's see how this goes. Oh my god, this is so good. Harry, how do you feel so far? I feel so good. It's so good. Wow. Hey, we're naturals at this. <laughs> so natural. We should probably keep the helmets on when we're not doing this. Yeah, it's true to be fair. But uh, no, it's super fun. We've just done like a big off-road bit. And uh, I realised how stupid we look. Like, yes, yeah, so, oh, stop doing that. <laughs> I'm now using, I'm using sport mode all the time now. Yeah, there's two I modes I think we explained earlier, but there's a normal mode and a sport mode. And yeah. uh, I left sport mode on, that's why when I took off last time, I was like... Oh, right, yeah. yeah. But yeah. So no. at one point we were going 70, 70 kilometers an hour, which yeah. goes crazy when you're on one of those. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Like the normal mode at the beginning, I nearly fell off on normal mode and I thought that was crazy. And yeah. now sport mode is the way to go. Like sport normal mode, mode yeah. feels too slow now. Yeah. I love it. It's so good. I want to buy one of these bikes. Same. It's making me want to get a bike. Mark, how are we doing so far? For the moment, very good for the first time. It's an amazing job and every time getting more and more confident. Good I time. think that is all about half an hour and you get more and more confident. Nice. Yeah, it did take like half an hour to get used to it. The first yeah. like 10 minutes I was well like nervous. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, do you want to explain a little bit about where we are at the moment? And yeah, guys, we are just in the middle of all the family of Vulcanos. Just here we get Montaña Plateada. In front we get the brother. Just behind us we get all the line of Vulcanos from Calderón Hondo to all the other brothers and that is what makes all the north of the island of this little island is made from this family of Vulcanos for example yeah it's beautiful nice. it's crazy because it's like it's like Mars man so like yeah derelict but and, so and beautiful and you don't have noise yeah when you're riding not like a not like cars like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. a lot more quieter nice one guys we're gonna carry on we're gonna go down this dirt track here we've got the option as well when you come on this uh, excursion you can choose to go on the dirt track you can choose to go on the sand if you're really feeling up for it maybe we can do the sand a little bit later on as well I if we we'll feel on the, way back. on the way back i think we can do it yeah so i want to try it out mostly because i want to get a video of harry falling off before the end of this Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Where would you say we are? Where's this place called? Mahanicho. Mahanicho. We're in Mahanicho. We've been we've been biking for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes from Caldo Anondo. Well, it's not taken that long, but we've come so far in such a little time, eh? Yeah, it's uh, there were some sandy bits. I was a bit scared of because when I was younger, I fell off my bike some sand, and the like handlebar hit me right in the chest, oh. and I was like winded. You know, when you can't breathe, like, <gasps> and uh, I'm a little bit, yeah. But it went back. It went back. It went back. I did it. Sure. Did it. That's why we got the protection. We got protection under here, like Superman. Yeah, I feel and, like uh, I feel like I've been to the gym loads this week, when really I've only been once, so that's fine. <laughs> the good thing about this excursion as well is you get to see so much of the island that you wouldn't normally see if you were just a normal tourist. So here in Mahanicho, you probably never normally come to places like this, and it's such a cool and easy way to get there, and it's super fun as well. Yeah, man, it's really fun. It's adrenaline field. Adrenaline field. Give us an update, how are we doing so far? Okay guys, that's getting better level and better level. I think now we're gonna go to the sun in the way back. Oh my god. They oh. get the level up for going over there if they want. <laughs> if not, we get more options, easy way or coast road. We have yeah. different options where you can choose also. Coast okay, so yeah, you, so you, you basically nice make you make this excursion all about what they want to do, yeah? Exactly, for that they do it only private because 
because I can adjust it personally for okay. every group. And what do you say the maximum amount of people is? For it's coming? four maximum, four minimum of two, and I'm never going to go more because I cannot control it all the group. Okay. Yeah, because you want to be able to keep an exactly. eye on, keep it safe and keep to it everybody. happy. Exactly. Yeah. That's the game, no? To safe but Have happy, fun. that's tough. Sure. <laughs> sure. nice, nice one, I love it. So good, let's Super. carry on. Welcome, we are in Caleta. That is one of the spots for surfing also here and we get a nice path just behind us, very beautiful and now we're gonna go next to this volcano we do see here behind me and over there is a volcanic arc where we can see all the shapes, all the layers of the volcanic, of the eruption you're gonna understand how it will the volcano Vamonos. If you'd like to book or inquire about this excursion we'll leave all the contact information you need to know in the description box below Mention that the Noma Brothers sent you for an exclusive discount. This is incredible. Apparently this is called the whole of the money. I just heard it in Spanish, but I don't remember. And Mark says he's been here so many times, he's not got any richer. Right now you are inside the volcano. No way. All of this is a mini volcano. It's made with less than one month. And of course you can see here all the lines of the construction. Looks a bit Imagine. like our ceiling of our house with so many cracks in it. Yeah. Look at this, look at the view over here. Here we are, amidst, amidst the volcanoes and the wind is so refreshing. Yeah, so nice, we've had, taken a short break here. Uh, we're learning a little bit about all the volcanoes and uh, it's just so cool. Like Driving along here literally felt like you're driving on Mars, no? Yeah. Like people describe Fort Ventura like that a lot, but like this bit, especially on a bike instead of a car as well, it's so much more like you're on Mars. Yeah, it's a good day for it as well because it's been a, a mixture of mixture of weathers. It's been hot, cooler, yeah. and uh, we need a bit, of, a bit of wind now to cool us down. It's good. Exactly. Right, we're going to hop back on the bikes now. We're going to head to a little circuit, do some laps. Is it like a natural circuit? Have you built it? Exactly. Natural. No, no, natural. Natural, cool. And then afterwards we're going to head to the big popcorn beach, which I don't think David and I have been to. Everyone talks about it, but I don't think we've ever been to it. No, I've never been to this popcorn beach. We made a little video about a popcorn beach in Coralejo before, like the tiny one near Sunset Lounge, but the one we're going to go to now is like the big one. So uh, let's go check it out for the first time. Here we are at the bigger popcorn beach. So if you remember in a video we did a couple of months ago, we took you to a popcorn beach near Sunset Lounge. It's a really small one in Coralejo with very few popcorns on it. Um, but this one is the bigger one. It's the first, I've been living here for three and a half years and this is the first time I visit. I realized I've cycled past it like probably 10 times, but I've never actually come onto the beach. This is my first time onto popcorn beach. Yeah, and it's yeah. so nice. Um, if you have a car or if you come on this eco wild ride tour, then you get to come here and it's a nice little part of the island to experience. You've got the same thing on your nose. <laughs> yeah. You have the same. It's from the helmet or the something we're wearing, but you have the same thing. Here we are, we're back in the shop for Eco World Ride. Had a really good day out. It was amazing. We were just saying like expectations versus the actual thing and we expect it to be good but it was even better and they went a lot faster like the capability of the bikes yeah it's really cool you can get 75 kilometers an hour now yeah 
And uh, we got up to that a lot of times. There was one moment as well where I completely like lost control of the bike and you two were both ahead of me and neither of you saw it. I thought I was going to fall. <laughs> and I just thought, I thought my life was gone, but uh, I recovered it and it's great. Hopefully it's on the GoPro. Hopefully you'll just see me at the back just like really struggling. But Mark was saying like if people start and they're not feeling very confident, you go a lot slower. It's a lot safer. When you're going slow, it's super easy to control. Yeah. Like, you're, you're fine. So yeah. whatever you fancy, you can kind of tailor it to your, to your needs. I look really stupid with this in my face, don't I? Yeah. Why don't you just wipe it off? Yeah. And if you want to find our spot, not only the shop, it's very new, but you have the option to get on the website, echowildride.com. And also we have Instagram, Facebook, uh, TripAdvisor, Google on the same name, Echo Wild Ride. <laughs> Awesome, thank you guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this experience, we're gonna leave all the information you can find in the description box below, a link to the website and the social medias for these guys. Thanks to Andrea and Mark uh, from Eco Wild Ride for taking us out today. It's amazing, thanks guys. Thank nice you one. Thank you guys. Thank you so much guys. Remember to like and comment on this video if you're gonna come to Fort Venture and try out this experience and we'll see you next time. See you soon.